Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In the part 4, we will going to learn India and USA relationship from India's relationship with other countries. 10th Social Science, Karnataka State Board Syllabus. Here, when we talk about India and uh, Russia's relationship, we are having quite good relationship with uh, Russia. Even when it was USSR, okay, uh, United Socialist Soviet Republic, or when you say uh, Soviet Union, uh, during that era too, India was having a good relationship. So when uh, your USSR, it was having 15 republic uh, countries like Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Estonia, Georgia, uh, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Latvia, Lithuania, Moldova, Russia, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Ukraine and uh, Uzbekistan. These were the 15 republic countries which were the part of uh, USSR and USSR this broke and uh, uh, broke into many countries and uh, most of the most of the area it, uh, it is your Russia and uh, uh, during USSR also India was having uh, quite good relationship with uh, that particular thing even uh, you know that when there were uh, uh, a war uh, between your uh, uh, USSR and uh, USA that time also uh, India it maintained non-alignment policy neither we have directly supported Russia nor we have supported uh, USA so we have we were uh, in the third world uh, country and uh, so that's also the thing but uh, somewhere uh, uh, indirectly we were uh, uh, supporting uh, Russia during at that time Russia as you are aware it's a, a communist country and uh, China it is too communist country but China when, has, when it has attacked on uh, India in 1962 during that uh, war uh, Russia it shown its aggression on the China okay it said that India is a country of our friend so it it shown its aggression on that uh, particular uh, uh, China which is a good uh, uh, symbol uh, towards our India and uh, during the liberation of Goa from the uh, Portuguese even that situation too Russia came forward and it helped Indian government so we have to remember the contribution of uh, Russia in the liberation of Goa in 1961 here we have to remember that uh, even we got uh, our freedom in uh, 1947 but Goa and uh, there were few areas like uh, Hyderabad uh, uh, Nijam's province these were uh, yet to be uh, taken from these people okay uh, this Goa it was under the Portuguese and then this South India Nizam uh, rule uh, uh, here uh, Hyderabad area whatever you say Hyderabad uh, uh, thing uh, it was under the Nizam so there was Iron Man of India Sardar Vallabhai Patel uh, he united all these parts into India okay. so in the liberation of the Goa also uh, Russia it has helped that you have to uh, remember here in the uh, India and uh, Russia relationships apart from this uh, Russia wanted to interfere mediate okay and uh, it has mediated a meeting okay which has happened in the Tashkent between India and Pakistan to maintain the uh, peace peace and uh, uh, to maintain the peace between these two nations so Lal Bahadur Shastri ji he took part in that task and uh, as we are aware uh, it is unfortunate that we lost our uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, in that uh, particular incident over there okay so they say that uh, it was a heart attack but uh, uh, it is not yet proven uh, there are many opinions uh, there are many different opinions regarding that what happened but that's a side thing but what we have to remember here is as as we are discussing india's uh, uh, indian russia relationship russia it wanted to uh, maintain uh, it has helped to maintain this india and uh, pakistan relationship through that uh, tashkent agreement 
but uh, at we don't know what is there in that uh, second agreement because that is not implemented after the death of uh, uh, shastri ji but they have mediated that is the one thing which we have to remember after that uh, we india and uh, soviet russia uh, during 1971 uh, entered into 20 years of uh, treaty of peace friendship and cooperation that is also one of the thing which we have to remember apart from that uh, russia it has helped india to start the steel plants uh, in our india in the places called bhilai and bokoro okay. so uh, russia it has helped lot with the machinery and uh, technology to grow our indian industry and commerce then uh, apart from that uh, russia uh, it is also even helping uh, india uh, to claim permanent seat in the uh, united nations organization security council already there are uh, uh, five permanent members are there in the un security council they are like uh, russia uk china france united states of america these are the permanent uh, 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 security council members who are having uh, veto power okay so russia it is helping every time okay to uh, india that you also become the permanent member of uh, uh, this particular uh, even a uh, security council but somewhere uh, china is interfering in that and uh, china is opposing for uh, this particular thing okay. so these are the uh, things which we have to remember when we talk about uh, india and uh, russia's relationship by this i can conclude that russia it has helped a lot okay it it, it has helped during the uh, indo pak war it has helped uh, during the uh, indo china wars okay. and many times whenever we are having uh, problems uh, russia it came uh, it come forward to help us and uh, uh, now you can say uh, now you can see that uh, uh, when russia is having trouble okay, when it is doing the war with the ukraine okay, many of the countries they are not uh, supporting russia but uh, india somewhere it is indirectly uh, supporting russia okay so that we have to remember because many a times they have also helped us so that is the thing which you have to write it to write in your examination thank you for listening uh, i hope uh, you people have subscribed my channel if you are not yet subscribed please uh, subscribe for uh, upcoming uh, videos thank you thank you so much